Low squad, low gang, what's up? Watch me do my thing. It's your polo partner, Mr. Low. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. To all my loyal, loyal, loyal subscribers. You guys read the title right. I made a big fat mistake. A simple big fat mistake. If that made any sense. I skipped over a step. And this happened. When I was trying to unload the film. So I know how to load the film and take pictures but when it came to rewinding the film this happened so this is just a bump in a road and a learning experience for myself so if you guys are interested in me telling you guys why this happened and what i learned from this mistake stick around and i'm gonna get into that but before I do, I need some coffee in my system before I go crazy. I haven't had my cup of coffee today. So before I do, let me get some coffee. So I'm making this video because I want to document my experience with the film camera. And if I make a mistake or if I do something wrong, I want to share it with you guys to let you guys know that I'm not perfect and I'm really new to the film world. So I wanted to document it, this mistake so I won't end up making the same mistake again. So that's the whole purpose of me making this video because I wanted to document it and I want to show you guys that, hey, <laughs> I'm not perfect. I do mess up with cameras from time to time. I don't know everything about a film camera. I'm still in a learning process and I'm not afraid to share my mistakes with you guys. So that's why I'm making this video. So now that I told you guys that, so what went wrong, Lo? Good question, I'm glad you asked. So I know how to load the film. I know how to shoot with the film in the camera. You make sure the spinning knob is whatever that, see, again, I don't know all the names. I think it's called the rewind. The, re, the, the, yeah, the rewind is turning as you, you know, crank the, the shutter. You want to make sure the rewind is moving. So that was moving. I know how to do that. But again, the unload was not so pretty for me. And I'm still in the learning process. This is a learning curve for myself and I'm not ashamed of you know making this mistake because I'm learning from it so this camera has a button right here that I didn't push when I was rewinding the film and I guess when you don't press that button that's what causes the rip in your film because it was ripping through the film like crazy and I didn't know that. I just start, you know, rewinding the film because you have to do it manually. And I didn't like really hear. I just hit, kept hearing it's pop, 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 pop. And that was the, the film like rip, um, ripping. And I didn't know because this was my first time using a film camera. I thought that was the sound it was supposed to make, but it wasn't the sound it was supposed to make so 
I know what I did wrong now. I didn't hit the, the, the button on the bottom to make it act right. And no, I didn't know what was going on when it happened. I just so happened to get on YouTube and look at a video to how to unload film and show sure enough, sure, well, sure enough, I forgot to hit this button on the bottom and that's what caused my film to rip. So the future for my film camera is that I will still continue the journey. I still have to pick up more film for this camera. As you guys saw, I have Fuji. I do want to try Kodak and other brands as well. So I have to get my hands on those films. And I do want to try expired film. I know a lot of people in the film world is going to hate on that because expired film mess up the film that is av available. Did I say that right? Available to us now. That's why film is decreasing because a lot of people shoot with inspired film and the film that is available to us right now goes down and some have been discontinued because of that problem. I'm aware of that. I just want to try it out for myself and see what the outcome will be. So since my first video I put out about this film cam camera, I gained a lot of knowledge, I must say. I know how to load the film and I know how to make sure the rewind um, thing is moving. So I know my camera is taking the pictures. And now that I know how to unload my film the right way I conquered that I shouldn't have no problems anymore with that and then my next step is getting the film developed yeah getting the film developed and what on what um process I'm gonna use because it's different ways you can go to Walmart, Walgreens, or a CVS to get them developed. But I learned that um, getting them to a Walgreens, CVS, or a Walmart that would take a little more time than you get, dropping it off to a camera shop that has all the equipment there to do it because the CVS's and Walgreens and Walmarts, they have to send the film out. So they are the middleman in that process, but a camera shop has all the equipment there so they can do it right then and there to save you some time. But if you want to save time and money, you can do it all yourself at home. All you have to do is get a film scanner and you can like have it at your house so you can do it yourself that is a option i might try a walgreens out just to be safe right now because i don't really know too much about the um, film printers i have to do more research on that before i pick up one that will be beneficial for me. So I know what to do to stop making my film rip. No more of this. I promise you that you guys heard me tell you how that happened, why it happened. And I know what to do to prevent that from happening now. So I shouldn't have this problem anymore. I do want to say that I might put the film camera series on hold until I get my hands on other film and I don't know when that's going to happen it might be tomorrow it might be three weeks later so I might put this on ice for a cool little minute 
and drift off and do my regular content because you know i still have celebrities behind the camera and i still have like my regular degular content so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and for all my up and coming film photographers i made this video for you guys as well so you guys won't make the same mistake i made i'm doing that for you guys so you guys won't run into that problem in the future also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet with that said i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm gone